Hello everybody, this is Kim Danke coming to you from the Shibola Studios in Kennesaw, Georgia, and I am with Jerry Ann Nelson, a Shibola success story. How are you, Jerry Ann? I'm doing great, doing great. I hope you are also. Also, I'm, I'm doing great, doing great. Um, so I just got a few questions for you. You are a Shibola success story, and we would love to know uh, your testimony because we all love a good testimony. So I'm just gonna ask you a few questions to kind of lead you through that, and we look forward to hearing from you. Great. So basically, the first question I have is, when did weight become an issue for you? I have um, been a runner for quite some time, maybe five or six years. And I had slowly started gaining weight, although I was still continuing with my exercising and my running, and it was getting harder and harder, of course, to run. And then I went to the doctor and had gained a good bit of weight, and so she was very concerned about some of my numbers. And that's when I knew that I had a problem. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That was kind of your light bulb moment. Oh, that was it, yeah. You cannot yeah. out exercise or outrun a bad diet. That is true. That is very, very true. So, so before this, did you have any previous diet attempts? Well, this is actually the second time I've done Shibboleth. I was a member about 10 years ago when it was still here in Rome and, you know, met my goal weight and went into maintenance and just did not do very well with that. I kind of thought I could do it myself, my way, which as we, you know, and just slowly, slowly, slowly that started gaining weight back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's what we say to people, you know, yeah. if you do the okay days, if it turns into okay days. Too many okay days. Definitely. Right. Definitely. I understand. Well, um, so when you first heard about Shibboleth, why did you choose Shibboleth? What made you think it sounded good? It's something that sound, it was just like the, something I could always do as a lifestyle. Things that I like to eat, to have the six days when you're in weight loss, to know that you have those days that you can use when you have a special treat, you know, your birthday, somebody else's birthday, things that you needed to do. But to be able to look forward to that kind of got me, you know, through to see that I, this was something I can do. Because I'm looking, for, I was looking for something I could maintain for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. I agree with you. Well, um, what do you think is going to make the difference this time? You said it was your second time on Shibboleth. What's going to make the difference this time? Journaling. I have journaled every single day, no matter if it's a perfect day, an intermittent fasting day a holiday. I have journaled every single day and that has really been the key to my success this time. Just writing everything down. That way I have something to go back and look at. I've taken photos of all my foods. I have an album on my phone saved where I can go back and see, you know, what I ate, um, things that where I lost weight, the, you know, the fastest, what, what did I have those days? So that, that's been a great resource for me this time. That's awesome to be able to look back at that information and know. Right. Wonderful. Good. Well, how much have you lost so far? 53 pounds. Awesome. And only awesome. in five months. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. So my goal was to run a half marathon and lose 50 pounds. So I met my goal and ran my half marathon um, at the, well, the, I think it was on March 1st. Wow, that is amazing. So, Congratulations. That's, a, thank you. that's quite an accomplishment. I probably will never achieve that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what is your favorite, what's your favorite kind of food to eat on Shibola? Oh, I'm so simple, but I love all the crock pot recipes, things that my whole family can enjoy together. We like the cream cheese chicken chili, the taco soup, but my go-to all the time is nuts and more and sugar-free jelly on a tortilla. That is just my favorite thing. Awesome. And isn't that easy to make and just know that you've stayed approved, but you've enjoyed what you ate? So easy. I have a daycare in my home. So yeah. I'm, I'm all about easy. 
That's good. That's good. Well, I normally ask people if they exercise. And so I know that you've already said that you're a runner. So you already had that in your life, which was good. So that adding exercise wasn't something that was new to you. Right. Yeah. I never stopped exercising. So that was not my problem. <laughs> good, good. Well, um, what is your motivation now to keep going? My friends, my running partners, I have inspired probably eight or nine of them to follow this lifestyle and to see them love the program like I do and to get on board and to have friends. You know, that's really, that's really what I hope keeps me motivated this time. That's awesome. It's funny. I always tell people to bring a friend along with them and they'll have a running buddy, but your running buddies are literal running buddies. <laughs> Literally my running buddies. That's right. That's awesome. Well, you did mention some numbers earlier. Um, what type of numbers, like health numbers, doctor numbers, um, were you seeing and how did they improve? I was in the obese category with high blood pressure and uh, my borderline diabetic, like 0.1 away from being considered a type 2 diabetic. And so all of those numbers have completely reversed their selves. That is awesome. Yeah. Congratulations on that. In that five months, in five months. Yeah. They probably correct themselves before then. Oh yeah, I'm sure. And I know this is kind of totally different, but my son is 20 years old and in November became very ill. He was taken to Floyd Medical Center in diabetic ketoacidosis. We had no idea that he was a diabetic. Just in my journey, because the way that I'm cooking for him, even though he's not on Shibboleth, he's eating Shibboleth style, touching down on the planet, you know. He has um, reversed his A1C score from 11.9 to 5.9 wow. since November. His doctor said it is one of the fastest A1Cs she has ever seen come down. Wow, that is amazing. That is amazing. We only, amazing. Yeah, we only keep Shibboleth approved snacks and Shibboleth approved foods and you know his portions may be a little more than what you know I could have or what are approved but just that has made a huge difference in his life. What a blessing that is awesome thank you for sharing that with us. Well um so just one last question and I'm going to show a picture and I'll let you talk about that picture but before okay. Shibboleth how did you feel and now how do you feel? Well, I had no energy, very sleepy, didn't sleep good at night a lot of times, you know, and now I just feel amazing. It's really, really made a huge difference. Huge That's difference. Awesome. I always have so much energy. Like I said, I have a daycare in my home, so I have to be, go, you know, on the go. I got to have a lot of energy. Well, that's good. Well, I'm glad that Shibboleth has helped you with that energy level. I know it definitely did me too. I yeah. laugh and tell everybody, I just skipped across my living room yesterday. I mean, I wasn't skipping across my living room for the heck of it before Shibboleth and now I just <laughs> skipped across the living room. Right. Amen. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, I'm going to share a picture real quick okay. and um, I'll let you tell us about this picture. That picture on the right was taken September the 15th. I could not believe that picture. And I actually thought that sign might make, might make me look a little thinner. I think that's why I'm behind it. When I see that, it makes me super sad, mm -hmm. super sad to know that I, you know, let myself go. But I'm super proud of that picture on the left. Yes. Because I've worked hard to, to get to that point. And I hope that I, you know, always continue to stay there. Yes, yes. Well, I'm sure you will. Because you know what? In Shibboleth, we have each other. That's so important. That's right. That, those Facebook groups, the, the, you know, and knowing you can reach out to the mentors. Joni has really, she helped me when I first got started. Because I really had convinced myself I could never do this again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had convinced myself that I could not lose weight. You know, I'm in my late forties and it's just the way it's going to be. And I really had talked myself into that. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it's just a mental, it's a mental game. Oh, it totally is a mental game. And once you wrap your head around the fact that this is a lifetime and that we can do it, you know, we, yeah. we can. Yeah. Amen. 
Well, that is awesome. Well, Jerry Ann, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. We certainly appreciate your time today. And we just thank you for being an awesome Shibola success story. Thank you. I really appreciate y'all and I appreciate everything you do. You, Travis, the whole team, Joni, oh. Missy, so many people that have helped me. That's great. That's great. Well, I hope you have a blessed day and thank you again for sharing and we'll see you soon. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye.